Hey guys, Taylor here, broadcasting another tutorial for effects and tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install sound drivers for your computer. I'm making this tutorial because I just recently installed Windows XP and realized that my sound drivers didn't go with Windows XP. They were for, mainly for Windows Vista. So I figured out a way to install sound drivers on your computer so you can have sound. Okay, so before we even get started, we need to find out the specifications of our computer. So if you don't know the specifications or anything, you can look on the side of your computer or the top. Mine, in my case, is Monster 200, but you can look on the side or anything. If it doesn't show anything, you can go to Start, My Computer, and right-click on My Computer and go to Properties. Now this is for Windows XP. On Windows Vista, you're going to get the same kind of window, but it's going to be more advanced than Windows XP, but you can basically just see the specifications and everything, and if you go down to the computer, you can see the Intel Core, Core, Core TM2 Duo CPU processor, everything. So, yeah, it's basically what you do to get all the, all the information for your computer. So, once we've done that, we're going to go to, once you know your computer, your computer, um, brand and everything. We're going to go to Google and type in the brand of your computer, which in my case is Vostro 200, and you want to type in Windows XP, now this would work for Windows 7, Windows Vista, doesn't matter, and type in sound or audio drivers, I'm going to do sound drivers, and go to the second one. Now you can either go to the first or second, doesn't matter, but this is actually a video driver. I want to go to audio driver. Okay, it should be on drivers.softpedia.com. You can find other ones. If, if there's no one listed, you can, you know, search it up, maybe do audio drivers instead of sound drivers, but you know, it doesn't really matter. If you can't seem to find a driver or audio driver for your computer and you can't find it by just Googling it, you can go to this link right here. It's a, it basically, it's an audio driver for any computer, and it works really well for... 98 me 2000 XP and 2003. So I can't find I haven't found one for Windows Vista yet, but this is for your UXP users. So if you want to, if you can't find it, you can go to this link right here. That'll be in the description for you guys that can't find it. But anyway, once we've gotten to it, we're gonna go to the external mirror. And because I don't know why my my download doesn't start, but I'm just gonna hit click here. All right now. Save the file to anywhere you want to, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so once it's finished, you're going to get the icon right here, and this is the installation. It's going to be called some random number, it all depends on which audio driver you install or download. So we're going to click on it, and I would, just to be safe on Windows Vista, just right click, run it, or right click and run as administrator, but I don't have that option for this. Anyway, you're going to get an open file security warning, hit run, and it'll just confirm everything that you've gotten and hit continue. Now it's going to ask you where you want to install it, so I'm going to just install it in the, in the base um, driver. Okay, and go to, just hit OK. Um, and it'll ask, it'll say that it doesn't exist, and it'll ask you if you want to create it, hit yes. And it's going to start. Okay, so once it's it's done, it'll say it's all files were successfully unzipped. We're gonna hit OK, and our install Shield Wizard will start. All right, so we're going to hit Next, and it's going to start the installation. It goes pretty fast. I actually didn't pause that. It actually went that fast. Okay, so it, it'll come up with a found new hardware thing on or for Windows, but it won't really matter because it, it'll say it, it couldn't install the hardware, but once you restart it, it'll have audio. I had that message. That might happen to you. It might not happen to you, so just, you know, it all depends. Okay, and it'll say... 
it'll ask you if you want to restart your computer and you basically finish so we're just going to restart right now okay so if we hit Taylor there will be audio and you can't hear it online because it's a it's a virtual machine and I I heard it but I couldn't record it on the audio or the microphone anyway yeah that's basically what you do so I hope this tutorial helped guys um I'm working on publishing my website it'll be up in about a day or two maybe even today so I'm gonna be, I'm working on it it's a very hard um thing to work on very very hard trust me I've been working on it like 24 7 but yeah it's it's going to be coming out real soon, and yeah, don't forget to check out my other video uploaded on YouTube, and xy 2 Jericho is going to be uploading some too. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I hope this tutorial helped, and I'll see you later. Bye.